No burst bottle here. Here's the gnome garden. Yeah. Here's what it looks like in the sun pre Chamberlain's Leather Milk number one application. So the reason I'm choosing to do it is because it looks like it's drying out a little bit because I live in the desert and it's really hot. So here's what it looks like pre-application in the sunshine. Okay, so here's how it looks with almost eight months of wear prior to the Chamberlain number one application. See there's lots of scratches and you can see it's kind of drying out in a lot of places. And there's dog slobber stains. There's the bottom, the sides. A lot of scratches. There's that. Here's the inside. Lots and lots of scratches. Now we're going to take all this stuff off. So here are all the removed accessories them all apart you can kind of see the wear on them this is the shoulder strap there's that piece and this is one of the shoulder pieces this is one that usually goes on the front part of me when it goes over my shoulder so it's not as bent and see how this one looks I squeeze it like that to go through the o-ring for backpack mode there's that one Here's this other one. This one's more bent like that because it always is right on my shoulder. So you can see how that one's wearing. Okay, and then these are the belts that go around the front. The bottom part is all dark and there's some light cracking going on. And then it has like this wrinkly thing going on where it's like separating from itself kind of. So there's that. And here's the connector piece for the shoulder strap, this little guy. And the other belt, so also really dark on the bottom, where it touches the ground. So here's the bag without all the accessories on it. Let's see where the belts were. get started. Just point out the dry spot. So I live in the desert and it's really hot in the car so I think it's dried out but if you look at like this top part it's kind of starting to look dusty almost so I'm guessing that means it's dry. I don't know I'm not really an expert but you can see right here see the different angles see it looks kind of I don't know it just looks kind of cracked and dry I mean, it's not bad. It's only been almost eight months. But I think where it gets like this kind of a dusty look, that starts to feel more dry than when I got it. So, hence Chamberlain's Leather Milk number one. It's all dried right there. Up there, especially. There we go. There's some good. Sealed when it shows up. Ew. That's how it looks. Oh my gosh. It does smell really good. It smells like dessert cherries. We're gonna do the little accessories first. Oh, look at all that color coming off. The dirt, I don't know what it is. Looks like the color coming off.
has like a really filmy texture to it. I'm a little nervous that all that color's coming off. Can't imagine it being that dirty. And you're right, a little does go a long way. Just keeps coming. Now we're going to do the rest of the shoulder strap, see how much further this little batch will go. <coughs> Stop eating it. <coughs> Tastes <coughs> exactly like licking an envelope. <laughs> Like dessert cherries. <laughs> All right, so just had to uh, wash my mouth out. That was kind of intense. At first, it was a pleasant envelope type taste, but uh, very, very quickly it took a turn for the worse and started burning my throat. There might be a reason why they say don't ingest it. Wow, it's really making it dark. And I think it's removing some of the dye. I don't know. It's kind of turning it a like a light brown, like a lighter version of the of the dark coffee. Looks like it's removing a lot of the orangeness of the tobacco brown color. Yeah, don't eat that stuff. It smells good. It smells like a dessert cherry. It tastes like. An envelope. You like that stuff? You like that? <laughs> no, you don't. I don't think so. Okay, let's see how it does on these uh, buckly parts. That was fine. side. This part's really cracky and dark, so let's see how that looks. It's actually, it is softening up. It's getting a little more pliable. A little scar or bug bite or something starting to show up on there. Oh, there's a big scratch there. Kind of just disappears. Okay, there's that piece. Actually, a lot more bendy with that on. Kind of highlights the scar. Now, these guys. That's why I keep using what's in there. It seems like it just goes really far. Oh. I need it this time. Yeah, okay. Kind of has a lather if you put too much. Oh, totally just scratched it. Still smells delicious.
cracks in it. See what it looks like on this bench. It's kind of just very milky. It's extremely liquidy. You think it'd be a little thicker? So you gotta be super careful with it. Or it's gonna spill all over you. Like I've already done like three times. Belt for this side of the briefcase. Totally just scratched. Filling all the cracks. There's some really dark places on the belt. Let's get those. Oh, you can see it's getting some dirt off now. There's that belt. This side. that part where it's all wrinkly. See those all those wrinkles they're kind of separating from itself. Get that part up. Some spots to watch out for. This big scratch there. Always getting scratches on there. And then uh, I'm pretty sure that's a dog drool spot there. And then maybe this little scuff right there. So see how those how it handles those. All right, here we go. All my fingernail scratches. Oh, I just did that.
Whew. That's the outside. Done. This is how the pad looks after cleaning the entire bag. Or leather milking the entire bag. Very brown. So I think a lot of the color may have may have come off on it. We're gonna let it dry. And then put all the stuff on. See how it looks. Okay, so it looks like there's a little bit of yellowy stuff. I don't know if it's dirt or dye from the bag, but a little bit of it came off on my hands. I got it all put back together and it's been drying for like an hour. So here's how it looks after the first application. So there you go. Here's how it looks with a little bit different lighting situation. So you can see it's a little bit darker. See the big deep scratch on the handles pretty much gone. This drool thing's still there. And down here looks fine. But it actually looks really close to new how it does on the website. There we go. Here's the straps. So this, all the scarring and scratches are still there, they're just cleaned up and better looking. And it is softer. And it does have a little bit of a, like a filmy texture to it, but it's not bad. Because when I was handling it after I first put the leather milk on, it was like almost slimy, but now it just kind of has a like a I don't know, slightly chalky and wet at the same time kind of a feel. Looks good though. Here's how it looks a full day after in the sunlight at the same time of day, the same angle. Oh. This is after the leather milk. The day after leather milking it, I wore a really light colored shirt and pants. And it doesn't look like there's any stains. Because this is where my bag rubs. Maybe a little bit right there where my phone was. But, and also there's nothing on my shoulder area either. In this lighting, you can actually see a little bit of the stains on my light color pants from using the saddlebag bag the next day after. The next day after leather milking it. So, it did come off a little bit. I suspect it will stop soon and hopefully it will wash out. Here's how it looks exactly two days after applying leather milk. Ugh. looks from my neighbor that's okay all right here it is six days after the initial leather milk application and I just want to say that I'm extremely happy with how it turned out and how it looks uh, you can tell it's a little bit darker now back is a little bit darker. It's just all around darker and I think it, it made it look a lot nicer. So I'm actually extremely happy with it. It did soften it up a tiny bit, but mostly it just 
Looks like it conditioned it and darkened it a little bit. Uh, my wife made the comment that she thinks it looks more professional with the darker tint to it. Anyway, this is how it looks. After six days, there's absolutely no... You can't feel it at all. It just feels like it normally does. So, yeah. It's amazing. And here's how the straps look. After six days of use, after being conditioned. So, I highly recommend it.